Hey, you're on. It's Andrew. Hey, Andrew. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Good. The conservatives. Yep. They talk. They're talking a lot these days about masculinity. Yep. And don't you think their concept of masculinity is rooted in fear? You know, when Josh Hawley talks about it and they associate it with fear of immigrants and fear of, you know, woke. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's that, but I think it's deeper. I I think, and this is, uh, this is, uh, you know, if you look at BAP, it's interesting that they're going for masculinity because that's the big critique of uh, Bron J. Pervert and others. Uh, against the conservatives is that they're not masculine enough that, that, you know, and his version of masculinity is anti-mind. And that's, I think, the essence of their view of masculinity. The essence of their view of masculinity Mm -hmm. is anti-thinking, anti-mind, ultimately thinking, evaluating, judging um, is feminine to them. Uh, And it is the physical action oriented, passion driven um, uh, uh, violence, uh, emoting, which is, uh, which is what to them, uh, is the essence of masculinity. And of course that means you view uh, one of the things that according to their view of masculinity, one of the things you learn about the world, if you're in the bronze age, right in the bronze age, the world is a zero sum game. Uh, it, you know, this is not capitalism. This is the bronze age. So everything, Land is finite. Women are finite. Um, uh, it's all a struggle for resources and a struggle for women. And therefore, uh, you kill or get killed. And uh, the whole mentality that they have, which, com- which, which, which partially comes from their view of masculinity, or maybe their view of masculinity comes from this, is a zero-sum world. And that's where the fear comes from. That is, immigrants are taking our jobs. They're taking our women. They're taking our resources. Um, uh, you know, it's fear of, uh, look at CRT and everything like that. They're feminine. Why are they feminine? Because they're intellectual. They're, they're, they're thinkers. They're, they should be de- de- denounced and, and rejected, not because of their bad ideas, but because of, of the way they are. You know, Tucker Carlson applauded when Chinese government made it illegal for effeminate men to be on television. What does it mean to be an effeminate man? It's, it's a man that's not physical, it's not muscular, it's not in physical in the world. So it's, it's, it's the zero-sum mentality of the Middle Ages, of, of knights in shining armor who are fighting over, again, a given supply of land and a given supply of women, um, that, that, that from which their view of masculinity has evolved. And in that sense, they're barbarians. And, and uh, and, and they're primitive and, uh, and, they're uh, weak. and, and, and ultimately they're weak. They're weak because what drives uh, is ideas. The problem is that even though they're weak, um, ultimately uh, their ideas when combined with religion and you have to combine it with religion because otherwise they have no, nothing to stand on um, is once you combine it with religion, they can provide a pretty powerful stance historically from which to oppress and suppress people uh, and from which to, 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 uh, you know, to control. So, um, you know, that is a uh, follow up. Yep. Sure. What do you think? What, how do you, um, or what do you think of the, the adage better to be feared than loved? Well, I think it's barbaric. I think it's absolutely ridiculous, right? Better to be feared than love is again is is all about a zero sum fight for resources, right? In a in a in a life or death battle for resources, um, and in that world, women are viewed as resources. Then, uh, yeah, you better be feared than love. Love doesn't give you anything, but fear will allow you to gain resources without having to exert too much effort. But that's that's a sick world. That is a sick world. You want to be loved, yep. and uh, to be feared is in a in a capitalist society. To be feared is meaningless. 
That's what freedom's about. Freedom is one of the things that freedom, this is why I always say objectivism is the philosophy of love. It's because, um, uh, it, it's because uh, 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 capitalism is the system of love. It's a system that allows us to, to love it. A system that, 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 you know, in a sense, leaves you free to pursue your values, to, to pursue your loves, to, to engage in love. You're not constantly struggling to survive. You have time for love and you have the ability to, to manifest that love. So uh, no, fear is a, is, is, is a negative emotion. Love is a positive emotion. Fear of you. Why should you be feared? I don't want to be feared. I want to be respected. I want to be only somebody people want to trade with. They don't trade with people they fear. Okay. Yeah. It, it all presupposes a, a power struggle between people. Yeah. So now it comes from a zero sum view of the world. My gain is your loss. That, yep. Conan the Barbarian. Thank you. Political philosophy. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.